Okay, let's start with the software. To begin with, we are going to work with the unit uh, units of the software. Um, to set up the units, uh, we do it in the menu Customize, um, Unit Setup, and we have the system unit and how they display. Why do we want to change the units or, or set it up? Because by default, here in the system, you see, well, now it's in, in centimeters because it's already changed, but by default it comes in inches. So we want to have it in centimeters because of the scale we're going to use. If it would be architecture, it would be probably meters. If it would be something very detailed like industrial design, it would be millimeters because we need precision. But for most of the things we're going to do, we are going to use centimeters. And many of the textures, assets, or everything that, that is already modeled or we will be using is already in centimeters. So it's a good practice to have it in centimeters. The same way, this is usually as uh, generic units. And we are going to put it in metric and centimeters so that we actually see here uh, that it's on centimeters. This is on you. You don't have to put it on display. It's just a, a help issue. Another thing that uh, it's uh, important to do is to uh, customize the user interface for V-Ray so that the plugin for the render engine is loaded, the V-Ray toolbar is loaded, and the materials are already considered for V-Ray. So we do that uh, as well in customize. Please custom UI on the fault switcher. And we go down here and click on max V-Ray. Okay, and we set it up. Now, this is giving us uh, an error right now. Uh, this has to do, I think, with the, um, uh, the graphic card, because in some computers it doesn't happen. So if it happens to you, just go back, custom UI, max, and set it up, and close 3D Studio Max, and open it again. So we close um, Max, open it again. You can see that we don't have the error again. Some of you never had the error, but we have the V-Ray bar, and for now, that's all we need. Now, on the interface logic, let's start with some uh, the difference on the naming conventions. Um, if you've already learned other 3D modeling softwares, you've noticed that some of the names change depending on the tools. For example, um, in some uh, softwares, you have uh, chamfer, it's called filet, or it's called bevel. Uh, here, um, it really depends on the tool you are using. It might be called bevel, or it might co be called chamfer. And uh, it's not just the name that changes, it's also the set of steps you are going to take, or the approach it has. So keep that in mind uh, for when you are looking for a tool. It might not have the same name. 